My name is Boyce Tankersley. I'm Director of Living Plant Documentation at the Chicago Botanic Garden, and I want to welcome you to the Garden in Winter. For those who live in the Chicago area and looking for a mini vacation to a warmer climate, we've got three wonderful climates we want to uh, illustrate for you this morning. Surrounding me right now are a number of species of aloe from South Africa that are just coming into bloom. Truly spectacular. This house really features plants that bloom in the winter time, so if you're looking for a special experience, now is the time to come. Within a few short feet, we've traveled from the arid lands of the southwest and other parts of the, of the world to the moist, humid tropics like the Amazon Basin. I'm surrounded by orchids, gingers, palms, cycads, it's just a treasure trove of plants. Again, because these, most of these are native to areas south of the equator, they think this is full-time summer and they're in full flower. We can't leave the uh, tropical house without uh, visiting one of my favorite plants, Aphelandra sinclariana, an incredible combination of orange and salmon flowers. Yes, the subtropical house features plants that take warm temperatures, but they can be cooler than those plants that we've just looked at in the tropical greenhouse. So plants that can go typically down around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, not a whole lot cooler than that. Right now we're viewing a really beautiful specimen of Dombea wallichii. Uh, this is a plant that's featured in gardens in Central Florida. I'm standing beneath a beautiful specimen of Calistemon, the bottle brush tree. These uh, species are all native to Australia. They lack true flower petals, with a beautiful red part are actually the stamens that uh, are exerted, very, very showy, very obvious a wonderful plant related to uh, myrtle from the Mediterranean region. One of the rarest plants in our collections is this Depia splendens. This plant is native to the mountains of western Mexico and it's extinct in the wild. A beautiful plant, but like other plants within the collections here at the garden, it's more than a pretty face. There's a scientific background, there's a conservation background associated with most of our plants.